against the Clockwork. It's gonna be so good for EG. They win yeah. the aggressive hard, they win the 1v1 against Clock hard, and then mid is gonna be the whatever. The 1v1 that you might be yeah. looking for, maybe, depending on what Secret now picks up. Yeah. They, have the, they have to pick first, and I think Poppy might actually be suggesting Enchantress for himself. Mm. Um, I know Ench, like, he can destroy what SD Potom wants to do, and he is... Like, the timing-wise, Coddle starts eating Ench alive if, uh, if you're not doing anything early game. But what Ench is capable of doing is uh, securing early towers by, you know, just moving in from behind. Like, doing... Uh, I definitely think yeah, Ench would be really good here. We're, we're going to see a, pop, a classic puppy hero here. It's either going to be Dazzle, Enigma, or Ench, I think. Yeah, Dazzle still there, has the minus one with Shadow Fiend, of course. Enigma, uh, we haven't seen much altogether in this no. tournament. Uh, Nick's support could also be very interesting here. Nick is actually oh, really good against Nyx all those four is heroes. Very good. It's banned. EG yeah, banned. Oh, it's banned. It's banned. Yeah. Which is also which is also hinting towards the fact that they want to cuddle all along. Ooh, yeah. I like Abaddon here. I actually really like Abaddon here. Yeah, Abaddon For is secret. really good here. Yeah, Abaddon's like oh, Potom's yeah, yeah. virtue. Omni Knight is everything? also really oh, good yeah. here. Both Omni and Abaddon are actually game-breaking. Yeah. What, happ what happens with Abaddon Storm matchup is the Storm always have to be looking at the Abaddon. If he, if he gets an Orchid, this is this is the Orchid, Orchid Tucker you want. Because you, if you spend it on somebody else and you just get shielded, you're sad. Same thing, it's good against uh, Coddle. Like, you can eat Blast, you can heal them up. Uh, and you can obviously remove the arrow, which is... The That's bottom, huge. I, I think That's the bottom is definitely making them potentially think about Abaddon, but I don't think Seeker is going to go with that. The nice thing is that new perk where he can trigger the ultimate his ultimate through the disable now too. Yeah. Like, you know, Ravage for example or something like that. It's pretty pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually very it's pretty crucial. Cool. Yeah. Can you do it through silence? No. No. Okay. That's you get silence. So you can do it through stuns. Yeah. That's so weird actually. Can silence so in weird. this units now though. There we go. Enchantress. Enchantress is actually the best hero I think they could pick. It's terrifying to play against. This Storm in the mid lane is going to be terrified. This Coddle defending a tower early game is going to be terrified. The, this Storm cannot play Dota if the... Like, so... <laughs> this can't play Dota. Dota. Cannot play Dota. <laughs> cannot play, play a different Dota. game. <laughs> like, you go with, with the one creep mid, you harass him, and then you go into his jungle. And then Storm is like, okay, Shadow Fate is destroying me, I have no jungle. What's happening here? <laughs> like, yeah, can't play Dota. Like, I don't know what I do. <laughs> I'm done. I leave. Yeah, play no. CSGO or something else. Just yeah. tab out. Play some, you know, Flash game. Tetris. Know. Tetris. Some quick life. You can do quick it in Minecraft. Minecraft. <laughs> Ch challenge Puppy to chess. All right. Know, so well, we're looking to Evil Geniuses, gentlemen, on their last and final pick, and it's a Beastmaster. Oh, oh this was against Enchantress. That's very interesting. Yeah, because uh, Enchantress could say one of the better heroes against uh, Beastmaster. I mean, takes for away good the reason. Yeah, yeah, takes away the Hawk, doesn't care about the Necrobook minions hitting you, can yep. take the Necrobook. Yep, it's true. Yeah, you can't hit uh, the be the Enchantress and Enchantress steals your stuff, so like, what the hell? Yeah, you're sad. That's true enough, but I think it, so rounds, it rounds out EG's lineup really well, I think. I was just going to ask, really like, what, what, what's the positives then for Evil Geniuses on getting it, even though considering yeah, he's stuck against Enchantress? Yeah, I think their lineup Enchantress. is is just well-rounded with that pick. I think it's, it's still, I think gonna, that, it's still yeah, a decent yeah. pick, even though they have Enchantress, for sure. I don't know. I think that the Enchantress pick just limited so much what DG can pick, and yeah. it's actually... They were looking at a guy like that. Like what did they ban, anyways? What did DG ban? Because this and... Oh. Oh, you know, they banned the uh, Disruptor. Disruptor, oh yeah, that's, that's Disruptor. definitely not close to being as good as Enchantress, so that's weird. I want to secure the Storm. Yeah. You know what, any face I'd like to see from Secret? I'd like to see Queen of Pain solo bottom, Ruby Clockwork top with Enchantress in, your, in their own woods. Because when the Ench moves, if he decides to move into the enemy woods... You like, want Clockwork bottom, I think. Maybe, even that could work, yeah. yeah. what you want, the clock thing is Clockwork can, like, he has cocks, he can put his lane near his tower. Mm -hmm. And then, because the thing with SD bottom, Akasha, he can't stand against the lane, he just dies. One disruption, he's dead. Um, Let's see if that's be how the lanes work out or not. Somewhat standard lanes from EG, beast off lane. Poppy, the sacrificial lamb. I don't know what happened to all the money. Like, it was centuries, wars, chicken. Oh, there's a smoke and tangles on the pool. like three right. heroes, you know. Pool, all the heroes. That was a really cheeky call by a few. Good okay. game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know what Fear is thinking, but. So, Universe just walks in. I guess he's trying to do a mind game. Like, he wants to get scouted for a quick millisecond. And then <laughs> Secret would have, uh, you know, maybe expected him to place a ward there. And that could be a free sentry blown from. Secret. It's a good way to think. Secret though did get the heal on the ward. I don't think it got scouted. Poppy only has one game so far with Enchantress. That's the third most games played on the hero. Yeah. 
Puppy and Ench Enchantress is some scary stuff. Yeah. I mean, even if he's not playing it a lot, you don't know what happens. Actually, I haven't seen a scary Enchantress like from Puppy, though, in the past six months. The, uh, before Red while, Bull, they also had the DAC Enchantress, the last one. Uh, yeah, that's true. And uh, they choked really hard against... But uh, in, in general, it's just... When it's picked right, it's it's actually... Oh, here is actually... He's, he's God right here, this Enchantress pick. Oh, Universe did ward in the end. I, I thought he... <laughs> How old is this? Okay, I guess. Fresh. So I guess what he did was he wanted to see if Secret were even there, and then if they did see him, he would have never planted that ward. But since nobody was there, he would he just expected Secret to already be camping top rune, gets the so ward delivered, he, and gets the ward he, he he dropped the ward at the tower or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah or something like and that. And walked yeah. in. Yeah. Good play. Good play. All right. Good play. Yeah. This is early footsie though from both sides. So Sumayel doing the uh, magic stick uh, build. Oh, he's going like four stats. Yeah, gets the four stats, gets the bottle still, yeah. then goes into the magic stick, which is really good against us. I don't know if it's that good though this game. Actually, actually, it's good. It's good. It's yeah, good. Devin Chantress. Yeah, we're experiencing a bit of. Oh, it's color. so hard. Yeah. Some Kala going on. Yeah, yeah yesterday Kala. it happened as well, and I will have to say it was on Thousand on their server side. So, <laughs> but we'll see. Baby Some rage. Yeah. Mild, mild hiccup. We take GG no being called yet again. Let's pray mm -hmm. for better we servers next no time, guys, please. <laughs> hey, our tech's been pretty good so far, so... I think yeah. our... I think our TC is having a meltdown. Uh, like you do. Everybody's calling good game. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what, what's the rule on this? Like, who won already? Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> So wait, the runes weren't picked up yet, right? Mm, this is it was is that one, one second before? I think yeah. this is one second before. So yeah. No, it's after. Oh, this is after? I think so. Wait, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Who has half XP? Why is, <laughs> yeah, but why is why is Sumail like walking away from the rune if it's spawning now? You know. No, nobody took it. No, it's not spawned yet, man. No, no it's like two seconds away? until it spawns. It's I think two they're seconds until it spawns. They're afraid of. They don't see so. anything, do they? They see teal, and that's all, right? Yeah, they don't see nothing. No, maybe. But I, I still think EG are actually going to be going in for this rune. They're going to go with the disrupt into arrow. I actually <laughs> think... What's happening? Andre's like, stop it. Stop trash talking. <laughs> Mate. Ruffles. <laughs> no, <Nigel. laughs> <Fuck> you. <laughs> I didn't say that. That was... I just repeating. <laughs> <laughs> there are children watching. Oh, well, good God, game, good game. Like uh, this is a good game. Dora is a very good game. I agree. Is it? With Orange. Okay. <laughs> Note from Sir Mans. Uh, that would be a thing. Rough game, dude. Well, I guess Wait, we, PDP. Can, we can look to break it down PDP. here. PDP, yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> Making a mutual agreement early on for the rune. Good. <laughs> Alright, where are we going? <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's see who gets the, the gold. Turns a 180 right there. Yeah, one one rune each. TC mid versus uh, the storm. Was Rubik expected? Top? Rubik is going bottom. Oof. That's what I would say as well. Brown. If I would be brown, I would say the same thing actually. <laughs> 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 now this is a nice thing to note though. What the. Uh, what Puppy did on Ench, he has no better purpose. He doesn't have to be anywhere but his camp right now. So what he did was he blocked the middle lane. And this is what we talk about. If Storm gets a better block, this matchup changes completely. On how no, well, not anymore. Not with the, the first stats below. I was thinking null to branch, then you can do some damage on the 1vr matchup. But still though, you want to block. And Puppy did a good thing. Like, it's something that not all, like, a lot of teams actually are not doing. Oh, he gets the early souls on the SF. Yeah, this Shadow is going to have an amazing great. time. Yeah. yeah. But even if he fucked up in the first wave, he still doesn't enchant us. He's coming back. But this, like, like this, he's just destroying from the beginning 1v1. Mm. Universe taking a lot of damage here. Oh, Cork is going to be trying to get in front of him. Not happening. So yeah. it's standard safe lane versus standard safe lane. It's very interesting actually we to go. have a standard safe lane. It's uh, SD combo. <laughs> Get the hell back. It's so, so hard to play Storm in a game like this. This is the puppy classic, man. Whether it's a harpy, a satyr. I mean, if you get the but, harpy, uh, oh boy. I still think Sumer's gonna be fine. Like, if anyone knows the Storm Spirit. Mm. I don't know. I think him. what ha has to happen is Rubik has to join uh, Enchantress in the next 30 seconds and they have to farm their jungle. They, they're not gonna get much farm. They're gonna feel kind of bad, but Storm is gonna be useless this game. Yeah. So uh, I think you should do that trade. Calm your horse. This no, is, I uh, think it's the best play. There's no. You have uh, a You have play, a free farm bottom. I don't think Storm's gonna be useless this game, no matter what. Oh, maybe not. Not useless, but it's gonna make him. Pretty damn less useful. He's got his bottle already. Like. <laughs> Dude, let me tell you something. The Storm Spirit against Shadow Fiend, you don't win Dota against he's, he's him with no farm. He's level with bottle already at two minutes. He's fine. 
He's gonna... He can't even use Courier if the supports are in their jungle. Gentlemen, oh, gentlemen. Look at that. The sims are that? setting up. <laughs> oh, look what's happening, oh, man. They're gonna God. be collapsing. Oh. Oh. This Rumael is. Uh, no. It's so shiny and pretty. I want it. Oh, 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 oh no, you're down. And the Storm kill. down. Oh, oh man. Oh. oh, is he still doing oh, okay? Right. I don't I know. Back, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that, but th this is not completed. Done. Now, what they need to do is to go in their jungle. The, he has to have no comeback. That's the most important thing. Yeah. But uh, I guess they're just chilling in their drone jungle. Oh, man. How significant is that? <laughs> Courier now down. He was off to a decent start, massive. but now he it's, bottle, so it's. He already said, "Yeah, at least the bottle is still alive." Yeah. yeah. The but, thing but is, Rubik the Shadow King is gonna have a mech. Now. Rubik's gonna have a mech. Rubik is gonna have a mech. No, the Shadow King. Oh. <laughs> Casual of minute three, Akin boots Rubik. Oh. Oh, okay. What is Why this? not? Yeah, Declining right. Mirana pick raid. Basically, she used to be picked a lot, and now we don't see her Ever anymore. Ever since the old mouse, <laughs> bottom, bottom yeah. is not a hero anymore. No, I think C9 had the most uh, bottom at that one point, actually. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe. Oh, Sumail missing two last is there. Nine. Yeah. The, the, this match right now, if they leave it alone, like, uh, and... Yeah, like you say, they go into the enemy woods and they start helping the top lane. Secret are are about to win three lanes then. That's They're some, gonna be winning bottom, mid, and something top. Something interesting though is that Cuddle is actually uncontested in the jungle, but he chose not to go for this. Uh, not the hatchet, yeah. Uh, the, the hatchet. That's called. I the mean, hatchet. he made the assumption that the jungle is yeah, gonna exactly. fuck with him. Oh, look, exactly. this is so actually pretty good. Nah, uh, not the this time. Of it was <laughs> enough. Oh, universe is okay. in the woods too. What's uh -oh. happening here? Okay, well. Oh. That's a bit unexpected. Don't see a wild beast master come dead, out of right? nowhere. Yeah, he's he's it's a level one kill. He doesn't know my do anything oh. really. Oh, oh there's, there's creeps here, though. What the hell? Double the dude gets to fly. Nice. Bump back. Hmm? They oh get the blast God. off. Oh Zai's gonna be in trouble, but Sue oh, also goes down. Robin Hood right there. Robin Hood. Oh, shit. Legolas. Was... Yeah, Legolas. Was five heroes chasing a clockwork. Yeah. No, this is not how you ever want to start a Storm game out. You might say he's fine, but yeah, yeah, it's not might. every game you can come back with Storm. Like, look, even the bottom is now mid. I think EG are actually stressing out at the moment. If you're playing a pub and you're storming against that something, you're like, you want to leave the game. You're, you're not going to play anymore. Look what's happening at the map. Look at the, look at the dire dots. They have four people around the mid area doing absolutely nothing but like trying to give some vision to the Storm. Nobody was touching top. I mean, obviously, Clockwork's a bit scared, but Secret, they're farming the jungle. They're like, on all sides, and Storm still having a really rough, rough time. I actually don't know what, how, how can EG win this game. I actually don't see any way. I, I see this Shadowfin having a mech at like <laughs> seven minutes, eight minutes maybe. They just get towers. They... Uh, please. What I you actually don't they understand. Have a they have they have so good outspam. It's five minutes. Yeah, in. but yeah, yeah, the yeah, outer tower should take a breather here. <laughs> <laughs> let's not let's not spoil the hope of all the viewers here. Like, let's 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 keep it. Keep no, it no, no. They're, what each have to do, I think, to to stay to stay like in a good position this game yeah. is to first of all stay calm, yes. keep their lanes, but help mid in some other way. They're gonna like, make it before he gets six here. Uh, I think Sai might have been caught here. They yeah. might actually, oh, they're going to get Sumail again. That's yeah. three takedowns now on him. And Zai has been dancing around with Aoi. He was just trying to do a little bit of jungle work, but it's very apparent that Secret are, are getting in the heads of EG. Oh, the Shadow Fiend putting a lot of pain on the supports, and in the meantime, Poppy like is hitting the mid tower. The, the, the biggest issue for EG is not the fact that Storm's getting trashed on, it's more the fact that they haven't used part of SD for anything the first six minutes, and this is something. A combination that you kind of want to take and use. That's only because the because of the enchantress. That's only because of the disruptor ban. <laughs> if you ask me, they they couldn't no, go aggressive it's anymore. They basically, the way they did. Yes, of course they could. They could still go aggressive. I, I believe so. Or at least oh, they definitely go. They could they definitely could, go aggressive. They could do a lot of things here, and I think they chose the wrong path, going safely and against clockwork, and then on top of that, not abusing Caudal at all. So they were kind of in the, uh, being afraid from the middle one uh, of enchantress all along, and. Yeah, I mean, you could have banned it, you're right, but like... That's, that's the easy play. Of course, you, I think you, you might still go aggressive just because it's the best thing to do, but like, it's still scary, you yeah. know? Yeah, this that's, is that's good. pretty much it. I like the debate. You need to look at it from all perspectives. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, Universe, though, he's also gonna have an extremely hard time getting into this game. Like, the way fights work for EG, if you look at the way they have to deal damage, is... Necrobooks usually happen for Beastmaster. That's how that's how he gets into fights, how he deals damage. It's not just lockdown anymore. 
uh, Shadow Demon amplifies any sort of damage. Yeah, but, he's not going to get that Necro Book. But yeah, exactly. But on, oh, no they actually see Sai here. Oh, he just. But there's no pull. Is there disrupt? Disrupt? Oh. No. Oh so boy. Close. Yeesh. What what is Storm on? I mean, uh, Shadowfin rather. Storm is nothing. Shadowfin is close to. Threads, I guess. has the Aquila upgrade a wand. Uh, he's feeling pretty good. It'll be pretty hard to kill this guy, actually. I wonder what Iron Potom's gonna go for. He's high net worth. Seems like just the casual, the, the Aquila. Maybe he's gonna yeah, drum he's also. Aquila. You're, I don't think you can play Potom like this. The way you want to play Potom is. You kind of want to roam around, but... Secret again, though, point. taking initiative in this game. They've been pushing mid tower for a while, and now they shift their attention to bottom. They almost got two towers down, and yeah. they're committing for this. Yeah, this is very good. Uh, this is insanely good. They're the ones making moves, and EG have been spending so much time running around this game already. And what do they even have to build into? I mean, you're talking about Marana's at her best when she moves around, but this is a yeah, core Marana around. at that, yeah, you know? <laughs> even if you're core, you still move around. Like, for example, when, when Sing Sing was playing bottom for C9, what he did, he was getting, he was winning the lane, and then he was moving around the map. He was ganking mid off lane, or generally off lane. He was ganking off lane, and he's getting kills there on the carry. That's so big. But this bottom is just AFK on his lane. He's bad hero for doing that, honestly. Yeah. I think uh, EG are actually feeling stressed. I think this is why the supports are m making so uh, drastic movements that pretty much always accomplish nothing. But they're definitely not out of it. It's just going to be very hard for EG to uh, to make any moves happen. Like I said, look at the way they have to deal damage. If, if they put all their spells and all their right clicks, they're only gonna be killing one hero. And after that, like, there's no more AOE left. There's no, like, we're secret. They can they can wipe five heroes with uh, the Shadowfin Quap or even even Ruby Queen of Pain can take out three heroes and bring other two really low. Like the potential in their draft at the moment is so much higher. They yeah. need farm on EG to yeah. to reach that same level of uh, so yeah kill potential. What level is Beastmaster looking at? I was just thinking the same thing. Like one of those potential uh, ways to come back is a Beastmaster. Um, he just got four. All right, but Beastmaster is level five. All right. Hmm. I think I think they should just farm the jungle. Maybe make a move soon with. With the bottom SD, try to set up a kill on either Quap or SF. Yeah, it's very hard. Uh oh. Oh, hey, uh -oh. Marquise coming in from behind here. Here I come, my, my former teammate. Quick disruption. <laughs> Peter. He's gonna feel so good. Oh, he doesn't get uh, TP on Beastmaster. Where's the haste? It's you... so a TP in from the storm, though. I don't think he's gonna be sipping okay. in or anything, but. I mean, just somehow does. They're gonna get a deny on this tower, maybe a oracle, because they're all rotating. Yeah, even the bottom is now coming in from the or top what? side, but he's gonna be a bit late to the party. Nope, no deny, no nothing. They need a kill. They need something. They need a tower. They. The they need... being used, but the arrow is never gonna connect here. No, nope. fear is coming though. But double jump back. Arrow and okay. okay. I need that kill so bad. Oh, actually. nice lift by Kuro. It's a good lift, and he's got to get Whoa. back. Good blast, Ooh. though. He's going to finish him off, and they're weak. Sumail's on the chase. Can he finish off Kuro? He can, and Arteezy unleashes his Requiem to help out. So Sumail on the run oh, on the Moonlight nice. Shadow gets sniped from the Rays. That's very Two important for, for, for Ichi, but it's still not good enough. Not yet. Oh, uh -oh. Right in front of the DD <laughs> room, too, but... He has a mic? Yeah, he has a mic. A cheeky top play. Is that? It definitely is. seems like it. Yeah, Sai, again... What uh, what this this way you can push against a coddle and in general like a way you can take other towers is make sure that they can't be in a position to defend. Enchantress can and do it. And Clockwork are the best for that. Yeah, Enchantress can do it through the creeps and Clockwork can do it through pure raw initiation. You hook this you hook this coddle at this stage of the game. Yeah. This tower is like going down or coddle just dies on top of it. Like yeah. Eg though they look to be defending this. They invest the storm TP up top, but the rest of the team is so far behind. They're running, they have no Moonlight Shadow oh, to use. Okay. He's alone! Pull back. Oh, oh what a catch also. from Zai, but... Close, 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 close. All the space to complete that tier one. They're, oh, that's a nice rocket though, like these small things bringing everybody down a little bit. Next coming back online soon, I guess. They're, they're gonna keep at it. Got that bird. They got the bird too. Get that bird down. They have no hook, but... They have, they the, got mech, the mech they have ready. Uh, DD is still going for a little longer. So you a rocket, and that was a DD shadow finger and some early licks on that tower. Yeah, position, Secret, right now. I think Secret just backs off here. There's no hook. You don't have to back, but you just have to have a um, good position so they can go into you. Oh boy. I don't think they're gonna accomplish much more than 100 more damage on the tower. They want to do something oh, though. Oh, PPD! 
Uh, he Mitchell's dead. He's gonna there. get raised. Yep. Roar being used on a TC though. Nice blinking. Mac is still up. Used. Yep. That's all. Storm is useless. Keeper of Light lost position on his defense. The tower is dead. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was thinking. When you play Shadowfing against Storm, I hope your team helps you more than the Storm. The Shadowfing, rather. Because Shadowfing gets mech, Storm is so bad against the game. The game's not only about mid lane, though. I felt like when they, when they go for this SD bottom call, I, I, I don't think you go safe lane. If you pick a Centaur or something, then you might consider going safe lane. But, like, when you go bottom, you have to make something happen. The hero yeah. is completely useless if you don't get kills with him. Like, you see, he has the most farm on EG, but. He can't do anything in these fights. Uh, you will be surprised what some players can do on bottom on the FPL League. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the bottom in the store is under the ward. This was a nicely placed ward earlier in the game by Puppy. And yeah, it's about to run out, but they know what's up. Fear is actually in a really awkward position. They don't have the right. Beastmaster with him here. Yeah, Puppy just running in with a heal, he expecting to get jumped. Kuro gets jumped though, he goes down straight away. Hook connects nice there. Fear. Nice cock. Yeah, Fear right into a scream. He's done blink? for. He blinked. Okay, he blinked now. <clears throat> oh, they stole Potom and Miss and used yeah, it straight away. That's before he died. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, but. Uh, the trade is not good though. No, that trade is not good for EG. Boom! <laughs> Get that out. Oh, follow him. Get two more on it. Get yeah, two more on it. Get Come in on. there. Get look more at rocks rocks This is just to piss someone off. This is it's actually a play. Mine. Yeah. Get in his head. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah. Look at this. Uh, look at this. You know Poppy is micro in this thing. Yeah. Oh, get the oh, hell out of here. Run away. <laughs> this is so beautiful. This is actually MVP right there. Yeah. The golems are so nice on Enchantress because when they disappear, they just die. They, they split. They don't just. Yeah. That's actually so nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look at that, steady incline, people are already getting close to their BKBs, and once those BKBs are up, what does EG's lineup have to offer? They do so have the Primal Roar. But they have the Primal Roar to offer, it. but what happens when somebody gets Primal Roar, even when you speak a beat? Like, if you they EG, pray. If you're, have, uh, if you're in EG's shoes, what do you do? Um, Split them up I and mean, pick them up. You have to play cool and just hope they fuck up, because yeah. you cannot win this game. <laughs> Uh, Secret are in a very, very good position. They, like I said, they, for, for me, if, you are, if you're EG, you have to split them off and pick them off. But uh, it takes Secret to uh, to make mistakes first, I think. No, Secret has to make mistakes. There's no moves that... Stay positive. You know. Stay positive, boom. <laughs> Positivity brings you a long way. So, Enchantress, halfway to Zaganims. Woohoo! Runs That's in, really nice. takes uh, takes the centaur. Oh, uh -oh. PPD gets caught out Peter again. Down, Peter. Peter down. Oh, oh. snipe rocket to the head. He's down. Well, this storm's gonna have an orchid at 45 minutes. <laughs> Positivity, bro. <laughs> oh, actually, he gets caught. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Centaur stomp. 55 minutes now. 55 now. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, they're gonna get rid of though. Do get a tower. That's nice. Yeah. Universe has 1600 gold. I'm very interested to see what he thinks he needs to do to get into this game because I'm Necro not sure Necrobook is not going to do anything anymore. He's going to have to get a dagger. Oh, They're no. going in from behind, catching the Coddle, trying to defend, and now he's going to be dead. This is, this is looking pretty damn hard for EG. And Secret now are going to be able to easily clean up that tier 2. They're trying to get what they can out of this bottom lane, but... but they don't have the heroes for this kind of split pushing. <sighs> Whatever committed jump they make, they just already have so much sustain. The mech there, the heal coming out from Puppy. This was a classic display of uh, Enchantress. What it's supposed to do and what it can do. Both things happen this game. Yeah. Can't even do more. Can't even do more, but it did his job. And yep. now when he gets the Aghanims, I mean, he, he, he could leave the game and you'd still have the impact of the Ench in this game because the, the reason why Storm is at this position, the reason why the Shadow Fiend is in this position, and the reason even why Ruby, Cop, and Clockwork are in this position is so much because of this pick. Look at Storm versus Ench. This guy normally suffers versus spells like Sigil or even a Shivas on the enemy team. But Enchantress slow, like that's on a whole nother level. Yeah, yeah. Storm doesn't hit Enchantress. Not even no. for BKB. No. Yeah. Kuro going for... Oh, Illuminate. That's actually such a good spell. Oh, wow. Yeah. Imagine Coddle blasting one way, Ubi blasting the other way. 
Oh, if Nobody you get names on uh, on uh, Rubik and you still the eliminate, you just heal everyone. Maybe five seconds. Maybe. All oh, right. That's actually so nice. Yeah, he, I, I'm sure he's going for a blink dagger before the axe and Rubik. Does that work? Because don't you have to be in? Do you have to be in spirit form? F no, not for the heal. No, because I think that steal it on spirit form. I think he stole it when he was spirit form already. Oh right, he stole the spirit form illuminate. You have to steal right it while he's in spirit form. That, that's what you, so what, that's you what steal it before. In spirit form, you get the. You get what it is in spirit, spirit form. form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Illuminate. Does that mean also it still applies probably for the daytime, nighttime thing? I, I assume. Yeah, I actually don't know how the heal works. If he has to be the spirit form cotton nuke with the with the agonims. if he. Has Aghanims and Rubik, but he stole the oh, a one. nuke without The thing Aghanims. is, the Rubik got changed since uh, before. You know, you steal the spirit and you just do it like him. But now, since the Aghanims change, you I actually have no idea how it works. Now. Yeah, you're hurting my, you're for hurting example, my head. Also, like the, when you steal Spirit Breaker charge, you don't get the bash anymore, or the ultimate, you don't get the, the bash anymore. Before you used to get it. Actually, don't know. No, I'm not sure. Someone tested. Oh, Sumael is not even going for the Orchid. He's going for straight for the Yules. Uh, right, PKP go time. on uh, Shafin. Uh, it's comeback time. Okay. Part gotta make something happen. For a scepter. Arrow. <laughs> not happening. No hitting. There's a con nuke being used by the Rubik right there. So we're looking at a Roshan probably for Secret now. Yeah. Enchantress tank. Encha Enchantress. Untouchable. Which was can't, buffed. Can't touch this. Like step off, says four. Yo. And oh, it's so slow. Oh, there's a region there. So grateful. Rubik. Rubik, move in. Rubik, move in. Rubik. 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 Oh what? my God. You see that? I I think he's right clicking it. I'm not sure. He's just watching. He's just chilling, dude. Beautiful view. Destroying EG. Oh, that's a kill. Oh, Zai could be caught out. Oh, oh force away from Lord. the blast. Are you kidding me? It's out of there. Oh, man. So they're not going to get the jump on top while Roche still goes down. Nothing seems to be going EG's way. Certainly not. Hey, Agnums is, though, complete on the Coddle, so we may have an answer. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to cut it for EG. They need to start getting damage, like... They need the storm to become oh, a cool monster gets picked off game. in the middle lane. Maybe. Still alive though. Disrupt on the S4. Okay, Scream does fly, however. What? And Pearl's gonna be fine. Bullets. Oh man, S4 gets two. And Aoi may have an axe, but he does not have an yeah. answer for this. And they're that? done. Good game. Woo. That was a quick. Just before 20 minutes, game three is gonna be over. And Secret are gonna be pushing ahead in this series. Now two to one. If you wonder yeah. how how you make the most use out of Ench, I I still strongly believe that this is the perfect perfect example. This I mean, if you get the last pick Ench, like what? Yeah, sure. But even if you 